Hey guys, what's up? K Heart here. Thank you for stopping by. So today we're going to do part two of my beat making tutorial process. So video one, I kind of made a rough loop for my lo-fi beat from scratch. And if you missed that, I'm going to go ahead and link that here. So go ahead and click that and watch that one if you haven't seen that already, because we're going to take all those parts and we're going to arrange them into a full beat in this video. So this is part two. Part three is going to be just some basic mixing and getting it sounding good. So let's go ahead and get into the arranging part. All right, step one is going to be taking all of my pieces that we have here and I'm going to just drag them over to my arrangement view and drop them where they go. So this is basically how I start every arrangement is I just take all of my pieces that I have, I see what I have to work with, and basically I'm going to just move things around and try and make it interesting. So I usually don't move my chords just because those are pretty much, like I said, the backbone of the song. So I'm just gonna duplicate those out pretty far because those I may not even take the chords out at all. So let's move this. We're going to move the lead because I obviously don't want to start. I don't want to lead with the lead because that's pretty much the most interesting part of our song, our beat. So we don't want to, you know, put that out there at the beginning because we don't have anything else to give them at that point. So I'm going to move the bass too. We don't really need to start with the bass. This piano is kind of just, that's supposed to kind of go with the lead. At least that's how I had it in my head when I made this. So the drums, you know, let's see how it sounds with just the drums and the chords. Okay. That's not bad. Let's actually see if we can move, let's move these and just start with the kick and the chords. Okay, I like that better. And then we'll bring in snare in the hats. Okay. And then I feel like this is a good place for the bass. Basically, my, my process here is to start with kind of as minimal as we can because obviously we need to make the listener kind of get the vibe of the beat because we want them to listen to the beat, obviously, but you don't want to put everything at once because you need to build into it. So I'm a really big fan of starting with like the least amount of tracks as possible and then building from there. So I think our bass coming in here is probably good. And also I do like kind of this eight bar thing we have going on here. So pretty much anytime you're introducing something new, kind of, I feel like eight bars is the minimum of what you can get away with before somebody starts to get bored with it. Once you get past eight bars, you kind of need to introduce something new to the listener. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this through and we're going to move this. And I think having our lead come in, here is probably going to work for us. So let's see. Let's see how that sounds. Nice. 
Okay, now this is where we can usually get stuck because we've used all of our pieces and we're, we're only, we're a little bit past a minute and a half and we don't have anything else to work with. So this is where a lot of people can get stuck, especially if you're making a beat from scratch. Um, normally what you could do now is go, you know, on Splice or wherever you get your samples from, find a nice sample and add some percussion, add something else and keep this going. Um, the other option, which I'm going to go with for this one, just because we're doing this from scratch, is we're going to make kind of a, a B section. So we're going to add something new at this point, just because this is getting a little bit stale. So I'm going to, you know what, we're going to change this piano part and make that kind of a second lead or a counter. All right, I'm going to go ahead and keep my chords going through here. And let's see what we can come up with uh, in terms of the piano. Okay, I think that'll work. I'm gonna go ahead and record this and uh, see what we get in here. just a little bit and make sure it's only four bars go ahead and quantize that just a little bit and sometimes you have to get in here by hand and just kind of fix some of this because I don't really want these overlapping that much all right so let's go ahead and see how that sounds for coming from here Let's duplicate that a second time. And we'll have the kick stay there, have that come in, and then maybe the hats come back in with this too. Let's see. Let's see, should we bring the bass back in? this going for another eight bars and I'm going to do the same thing I did with my lead. I'm going to add another piano, which I think I have the same piano. I do load it onto this track. So I'm going to do like the same thing I did with the lead and add just kind of some piano in between uh, this kind of new lead that we have here. up a little bit so it sounds like this now bring we're just gonna keep the chords going through the whole song because that's the point we're at now and I think the bass is probably gonna finish as well 
Let's bring the lead back at this point after this piano ends. And I think we're just going to continue with the drums too. So nothing fancy here. And then we'll bring these chords back in. which is going to be mixing this because this clearly needs some work. We're clipping and everything all over the place and we'll take care of that in the next one. So stay tuned for that and uh, yeah, like, subscribe. See you guys in the next one.